the opening of the state legislature. Yeah, Casey Lund is live at the state capitol this morning, finding out what lawmakers are hoping to accomplish this session. Casey. Yeah, hey, good morning, guys. And we're going to be speaking with members of both the state house and the state senate. Last year was a relatively productive year, many thought. We had a big, big accomplishment with the $600 million for DHHL. We're going to be updating that, talking about where things are with affordable housing, among another range of issues throughout the morning. Uh, we want to get started, though, with the newly elected Vice Speaker of the House, Gregor Illigan, with us this morning, um, the representative from Puna. Uh, and we'll, before we talk about some of those issues in Lower Puna, the district you represent, now that you're with leadership here, uh, focusing maybe on more statewide issues, can you talk to us a little bit about, uh, especially since you're our first year, you're leading us off here at 5 a.m., um, what, what are we looking forward to in 2023, and what are some of the big priorities for the House? Well, thank you, Casey. It's a great morning. And some of our priorities, we have many, but I want to share that we're looking to build and expand affordable housing. We want to fund and assist um, funding for mental health services, as well as to preserve and protect our environment. Um, those are some of the issues that we'll be working on, but we'll be working on many more issues as well. Yeah, and I also want to ask you now. I'm um, uh, speaking a little bit more to Puno, you know, a place that I hold dear to my, near and dear to my heart. I love it down there, and uh, like anywhere in Hawaii, very special, unique place with its own challenges, uh, and especially with the 2018 eruption. So the lasting effects for that. Uh, what are some of your big priorities for your home district? So I love talking about my district, and thank you for asking me that question. I, from our 12 town halls, I have three top priorities. One of them is the Puhiki boat ramp. We want to make sure we want to rebuild the Pohiki boat ramp and fund that project this session, as well as moving on with the alternative route um, project that I got funding for from last year. And one of the issues that's very unique but not a statewide issue is actually a federal issue on the Pohoa Post Office with their long lines that has been going on year round. So, um, and talk to me just a little bit, if you really can quickly, the Poiki boat ramp, where is that right now in the development? I know it's kind of gone back and forth. Well, we had a town hall where the um, contractor brought out some of our options. And with those three options that they presented, they actually moved with a fourth option. And that fourth option is to fully dredge out the bay, which, yeah. which requires an enormous amount of funding. But the thing is, we can supplement it with federal funds um, that we are receiving from FEMA. Very good. Gregory Ilgon, thank you so much for being with us. I know it makes it for an early morning and a long day. We appreciate your time. I'll be talking with, again, more members of the State or the state House of Representatives as well as the Senate. We'll have Senate President Ron Kochi on coming up later at 5.30. For now, though, guys, we'll send things back to you. It'll be a busy year here at the legislature. Yes, indeed. All right. Thanks, Casey. All right. Happening today.